Good afternoon, dear students. I am Ms. Vandana Pai. In today's lecture of the course Diploma in Human Resource Management, yes, we will be studying the paper number one, Management of Industrial Relations. Into that, unit number second, okay, Industrial Conflict, okay. Into that, we will be studying. one of the content that is prevention and settlement of industrial disputes okay so let's start so let's discuss prevention and settlement of industrial disputes okay prior to that just recall what we have studied into industrial conflict okay what is industrial conflict okay industrial conflict means conflict which arise within industries okay see uh, we have gone through industrial relations okay when in which okay two actors okay actually there are three actors of industrial relations but into that two actors are most active uh, actors okay and most mostly what happens these two actors they are they are interrelated to each other okay which are these two actors these two actors are employer and employee okay now whenever we consider employer as well as employee okay see there are many issues or there are many things due to which these two people they might enter into conflict okay so whenever we consider whenever we consider this conflicts what are the reasons of conflict within employer and employee see there might be issues related to work there might be issues related to remuneration or compensation there might be issues related to the working environment there might be issues related to facilities and amenities provided okay there might be issues uh, related to working time working hours working shift okay or uh, the quality of work life which is provided by the industry to these people okay so whenever we consider all these things okay whenever we consider all these things okay what is important yes see if if we that is the employer as well as employee okay if these two people they enter into conflict if they enter into conflict what will happen then yes the whole industry will be disturbed okay the whole industry will be disturbed due to this okay now see in the last lecture we have gone through uh, strike and lockouts the types of industrial conflicts right okay so whenever we consider strike okay whenever we consider strike what is strike okay strike why does it happens see uh, some of the complaints or grievances okay some of the complaints or grievances of the employees okay some of the uh, sorry some of the demands some of the needs some of the wants okay some of the okay desires of the employees if they are not fulfilled okay if some of the facilities which are very much needed by the employees if they are not satisfied okay what will happen yes it will be converted into complaints okay and the employee goes on complaining okay the employee goes on complaining okay and they report to their employer okay they report to their employer okay what happens then the employer okay the employer if he doesn't consider if he doesn't consider or if he doesn't pay attention to the grievances of the employees okay if he doesn't look after the grievances of the employees and if the grievances are not redressed okay if the grievances they are not redressed then what will happen yes if the grievances are not redressed okay if they are prolonged okay if they are prolonged then surely what will happen 
yes it will be turned towards strikes okay say these people this employees what they do if their grievances are not resolved they approach their union okay and union leaders they are aggressive that much aggressive what they will do then yes they will call for tool down is it they will call for tool down pen down okay such type of things and yes the employees they do stop working okay if the employees stop working then what will happen yes your organization's production activity will be stopped if the production activity is stopped then yes if the production activity is stopped then what will happen yes who will be affected the organization will be affected right okay now if the strike is prolonged okay for more period of time for days for months for weeks is it if that strike is prolonged who is responsible for this then yes who is responsible for this employer right they have not fulfilled some of the facilities okay which were needed by the employee okay due to this what will happen yes the yes what has happened the organization production process is stopped okay if production is not done in uh, in time okay in the right time whenever the customers they were in need of product if you are not able to avail it to them then what will happen yes your distribution will not be done you will not be able to fulfill the demand of the customers okay if demand is not equal to supply yes your objectives will not be completed your objective is not completed surely one day you are supposed to shut down your organization or company right was this the motive behind uh, establishing our organization no this is not the motive right okay so what happens usually okay if the strike is prolonged then yes the employer also okay is his ego is hurted okay employees ego is hurted and what they do they announce lockdown they announce lockouts okay lockouts means what forcefully the employer locks locks the company okay because see he knows okay this person he knows that okay the employee is depend uh, dependent upon our organization is it he is dependent upon our organization okay unless until he earns something his live livelihood is not possible ओके म्हणजे बघा हा जो व्यक्ती आहे हा जो एम्प्लॉयर आहे त्या एम्प्लॉयरला माहिती आहे समजा समजा आपण आपल्या ऑर्गनायझेशनमध्ये ह्याने काम केलं नाही तर त्याला सॅलरी किंवा त्याचं रेमिनेरेशन मिळणार नाही जर रेमिनेरेशन मिळालं नाही तर त्याचं त्याचं जे घर आहे ते चालणार नाही हे त्याला पक्क माहिती आहे म्हणून तो काय करतो लॉकआउट करतो लॉकआउट करतो म्हणजे काय ओके कंपनी थोड्या दिवसासाठी बंद ठेवतो ओके okay? आता ह्या फेजला काय म्हणतो आपण लॉकआउट्स ओके okay? आणि स्ट्राईक काय असतात त्याला मराठीमध्ये संप असं म्हणतात ओके okay? बघा एम्प्लॉईज जे असतात एम्प्लॉईज जे असतात त्यांचे काही डिमांड्स असतात ओके फॉर एक्झाम्पल रेमनरेशन वाढवून द्या वर्किंग आवर्स कमी करा ओके okay? शिफ्ट्स uh, जे आहेत ते नॉर्मल करा ओके okay? किंवा काही फॅसिलिटीज आम्हाला प्रोवाईड करा ओके okay? लंच ब्रेक जास्त कालावधीसाठी द्या ओके टी ब्रेक दोन चार द्या इज इट सच टाईप ऑफ थिंग्स सच टाईप ऑफ येस डिमांड्स आर देअर ऑफ द एम्प्लॉईज ओके हे डिमांड्स घेऊन ते एम्प्लॉयरला अप्रोच होतात ओके त्यांच्या ओनरला अप्रोच होतात ओनरला म्हणतात अशा अशा प्रकारचे आमचे डिमांड्स आहेत ओके ते तुम्ही फुलफिल करा ओके मग तो एम्प्लॉयर काय म्हणतो येस एम्प्लॉयर प्रत्येक वेळी सगळं ऐकून घेईल असं नाही इज इट एम्प्लॉयर म्हणतं येस वी कॅन्ट फुलफिल युअर डिमांड 
ओके मग एम्प्लॉई काय करतो एम्प्लॉय ट्रेड युनियनकडे जातो त्यांची कामगार संघटना जी आहे त्यांच्याकडे जातो ओके ट्रेड युनियन काय करतं मग येस ट्रेड युनियन काय करतं येस ट्रेड युनियन म्हणतं की आपण संप करू आपण टूल डाऊन करू आपण पेन डाऊन करू ओके पेन डाऊन किंवा टूल डाऊन म्हणजे काय आपण काम थांबवू ओके आणि मग ते काम थांबवतात मग काय होतं ओके एम्प्लॉयर जो आहे त्याचा पण इगो हर्ट होतो त्याला माहिती आहे की हा जो एम्प्लॉई आहे त्याने समजा अर्न केलं नाही आपण समजा त्याला रेम्युने रेम्युनरेशन दिलं नाही तर काय होईल येस आपण समजा त्याला रेम्युनरेशन दिलं नाही तर हां हे जी हे जे जे लिवलायवूड आहे ह्याचं ओके ह्याचं घर जे आहे ते चालणार नाही बरोबर आहे ओके त्यामुळे तो काय करतो लॉकआउट करतो लॉकआउट म्हणजे काय फोर्सफुली कंपनी थोड्या दिवसांसाठी बंद ठेवतो जोपर्यंत एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई एम्प्लॉयरला येऊन विनंती करत नाही तोपर्यंत ऑर्गनायझेशन कंपनी चालू करायची नाही असं डिसाईड करतो दिस फेज इज कॉल्ड एज लॉकआउट ओके वी हॅव डिस्कस दिस टाईप्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट राईट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर ओके नाव प्रिव्हेन्शन अँड सेटलमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट सी इफ दिस इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट इट इज कॅरीड फॉर अ लॉंग पिरियड ऑफ टाईम इट इज नॉट गुड फॉर द ऑर्गनायझेशन्स सर्वायवल ओके म्हणजे ऑर्गनायझेशन जी आहे ती सर्वाय होऊ शकत नाही ऑर्गनायझेशन जी आहे ती सर्वाईव्ह होऊ शकत नाही अशा प्रकारे समजा एन्व्हायरमेंट असेल तर ओके गेटिंग इट सो हाऊ टू रिझॉल्व्ह इट हाऊ टू रिझॉल्व्ह सच टाईप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स ओके इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स मीन्स वॉट डिस्प्यूट्स विच आर कंडक्टेड विद इन द इंडस्ट्री ओके डिस्प्यूट्स विच आर कंडक्टेड विद इन इंडस्ट्री आर कॉल्ड ॲज इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स ओके गेटिंग इट सो हाऊ टू कंट्रोल सच टाईप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट ओके हाऊ टू येस कंट्रोल सच टाईप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट ओके सो दॅट येस आर ऑर्गनायझेशन विल नेवर स्टॉप ओके इट विल सर्वाईव्ह फॉर लॉंग पिरियड ऑफ टाईम अँड इफ सच टाईप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स आर देअर दॅन हाऊ टू सेटल दॅम ओके हाऊ टू ब्रिंग द फेज टू नॉर्मल ओके स्ट्रॉमिंग फेजवरून नॉर्मिंग फेजवर कसं यायचं ओके सो हिअर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दोज थिंग्स दोज पॉईंट्स ओके विच विल हेल्प अस टू प्रिव्हेंट अँड सेटल द इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स ओके फर्स्ट ओके सम ऑफ द युजफुल मेथड्स यूज फॉर प्रिव्हेन्शन अँड सेटलमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट्स आर वर्क कमिटी कॉन्सिलेशन ऑफिसर्स ओके बोर्ड ऑफ कॉन्सिलेशन कोर्ट ऑफ इन्क्वायरी लेबर कोर्ट्स इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रिब्युनल्स अँड नॅशनल ट्रिब्युनल ओके सी इन आवर डेज इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन्स आर नॉट अ बायपेट्रेट अफेअर बिट्वीन द मॅनेजमेंट अँड द लेबर गव्हर्नमेंट इज प्लेईंग अँड ऍक्टिव्ह रोल इन प्रमोटिंग इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन्स ओके इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन्स मीन्स वॉट रिलेशन्स विद इन द इंडस्ट्री रिलेशन बिट्वीन एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई अँड गव्हर्नमेंट ओके रिलेशन बिट्वीन एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई अँड गव्हर्नमेंट ओके वाय दिस रिलेशन इज इम्पॉर्टंट येस दिस रिलेशन इज इम्पॉर्टंट सो दॅट देर विल बी हार्मोनी इन टू द येस इन टू द इंडस्ट्री इज इट देर विल बी साऊंडनेस इन टू द इंडस्ट्री राईट ओके सो the concept of industrial relations has therefore become a tripartite affair among the employers employees and the government okay so whenever we consider whenever we consider industrial relations industrial relations are that important okay means to have healthy relations within the industry why it is important okay if you want to ensure production 
ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एन्शुअर प्रोडक्शन ऐक्टिविटी म्हणजे प्रोडक्शन ॲक्टिव्हिटी व्यवस्थित चालू राहावी असं जर तुम्हाला वाटत असेल तर एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई अँड गव्हर्नमेंट ह्या तिन्हीचे जे रिलेशन्स आहेत ते साऊंड असले पाहिजेत ओके सो वेन एव्हर वी कन्सिडर द रिलेशन्स बिट्वीन एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई अँड गव्हर्नमेंट ओके देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ फॅक्टर्स विच कॅन टर्न दिस साऊंड रिलेशन्स इन टू अनसाऊंड रिलेशन्स ओके व्हॉट आर द डिफरंट रिझन्स सी फॉर एक्झाम्पल ओके इफ द एम्प्लॉई इज नॉट सॅटिस्फाईड विथ द एम्प्लॉयर इफ द एम्प्लॉयर इज नॉट सॅटिस्फाईड विथ द एम्प्लॉई ओके वॉट कॅन हॅपन देर विल बी सी वेअर क्लॅशेस बिट्वीन दिस टू पर्सनॅलिटीज ओके सी मेनी ऑफ द टाईम एम्प्लॉईज हॅव देअर डिमांड ओके एम्प्लॉयर ऑल्सो हॅज डिमांड ओके एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉईज इफ दे कॅन्ट सेटल अपॉन अ सिंगल फॅक्टर ओके अपॉन अ सिंगल डिसिजन ओके एम्प्लॉईज वॉट दे थिंक दे थिंक दॅट द एम्प्लॉयर शूड allow him to participate in the decision making process okay which is related to him okay and uh, what the employer feel employer feels that employer feels that yes employers feels that the employee should not be having such demands as it more demands okay he should be satisfied in what we are providing ओके सी बोथ आर राईट ॲट देअर विथ देअर व्ह्यू पॉईंट्स ओके अँड नो वन इज नो वन फ्रॉम दिस टू पीपल दे आर रेडी टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज दे आर नॉट रेडी टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज ओके देन वॉट विल हॅपन येस इफ दे आर नॉट रेडी टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज देन येस आफ्टर सम पिरियड ऑफ टाईम आफ्टर सम पिरियड ऑफ टाईम ओके दे विल गो कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग दे विल गो कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग is it okay so whenever we consider okay whenever we consider such type of uh, industrial disputes okay due to this industrial dispute the productivity of the organization can badly be affected okay the productivity can badly be affected so if we think that the production process should be uninterrupted the industry should uh, always be uh, uninterrupted then what we ca- uh, what we are supposed to do we are supposed to look after uh, each and everything which are uh, is it which which can result into conflict okay which can result into conflict okay so uh, let's see what are the different measures which we can take so as to prevent and settle the industrial disputes first thing is yes it is always readily said that prevention is better than cure okay means if you think that something might result into industrial conflict okay something might be conflicting okay if you uh, if you get okay if you get uh, on uh, okay uh, for example um if you think that this issue can result into conflict or dispute okay or something is disputable then yes immediately what you are required to do is prevent you are required to prevent okay so it is always said that prevention is better than cure means what okay if you think that something might result into disputable phase yes try to control it th- at that time itself okay you can uh, okay what you can do you can yes uh, you can settle it down okay by discussing by conversating by communicating okay or else there are certain uh, other ways there are certain other ways through which you can control such type of things okay see uh, it is possible to settle industrial disputes if timely steps are taken yes surely okay surely if timely timely okay manje veletas veletas kahi goshti tumhi kelyat tar conflict tumhi conflict pasun vachu shakta okay what is it then okay there are different measures okay first thing is communication okay and see uh many many the many of the disputes 
many of the disputes they happen due to miscommunication itself okay miscommunication mulets baraj vali relations harm ho shaktat okay industrial relations employer employee che relations harm ho shaktat okay if the communication is proper okay if what the employer wants to communicate with the employee and what the employee wants to communicate with the employer if it is if it is good okay if the message is transferred in the same way if it is positively communicated okay if the view points of both employer as well as employee is same then surely surely okay it will result into good communication and never there will be industrial conflict okay so so whenever we think about industries okay if some factors okay if you come to know or if you notice that some factors can result into disputes okay at that time itself try to prevent try to settle okay at the initial stage or primary stage itself okay the government has taken various steps to see that the industrial disputes are settled peacefully okay means see the government is taking efforts okay the government is taking efforts through which through which okay how to settle the um, such type of disputes okay in silent way okay they have considered this okay they have considered this okay then the government has taken some space uh, steps to see the industrial relations or industrial disputes they are settled peacefully okay firstly the government has constituted tripartite conferences for various industries okay means three tier or uh, the committee uh, consisting of three people okay it is settled or it is set down so that okay if such type of issues such type of grievances they are raised then they can surely yes control it down firstly the government has constituted tripartite conferences for various industries the employers employees and the government are represented on these conferences secondly statutory provision for the settlement of dispute is provided by the industrial dispute act 1947 okay as per the industrial dispute act 47 okay there are certain statutory statutory means by law okay some of the provisions they are made by law okay which will definitely okay which will definitely control the industrial disputes okay the following is the machinery for prevention and settlement of industrial disputes provided by the act okay see there are various committees and there are various committees appointed by the government okay or the statute has been provided with uh, different committees okay through which through which itself okay if something goes on conflicting disputing it will be ro- resolved at that moment itself okay first thing is works committee first committee is works committee what is works committee see this committee consists of representatives of workers and employers okay see this committee ya committee madhe ओके को वर्कर्स पे एम्प्लॉयर्स पे मे को एम्प्लॉईज पे एम्प्लॉयर्स पे ओके बोथ दैट इज एम्प्लॉयर एज वेल एज एम्प्लॉई ओके बोथ एम्प्लॉयर्स एज वेल एज एम्प्लॉईज ओके बोथ दे आर इन्क्लूडेड इन वर्क्स कमिटीज ओके अंडर द Industrial Dispute Act 1947. See what is mentioned into Industrial Act 1947. Works committees exist 
in industrial establishments in which 100 or more workmen are employed during the previous year. So, See, uh, this committee consists of uh, representatives of workers and employers. Okay, under the Industrial Dispute Act 1947 itself, works committee exists in industrial establishment in which 100 or more workmen are employed during the previous year. Okay, um, means uh, where you can establish such type of work committee. Yes, where 100 or more workmen are employed. Okay, it consists of an equal number of representative of workmen, workmen and employers. Okay, means, uh, see, um, if you are appointing 10 representatives, okay, means 5 will be representatives of workers and, and 5 will be representatives of employers. Okay, then... It is the duty of the works committee to promote measures for securing and preserving MIT and good relations between employer and workmen. See this work committee what it does, yes it preserves the, yes it preserves the relations between employer and workman, okay. Manje, ya dogan madhil je relations ahe, te affect who ne mudunas, he committee, yes he committee build up ke li ahe, okay. So then it also deals with certain matters that is conditions of work, amenities, safety and accidental prevention, educational and recreational activities, promotion of thrift and saving etc. Okay. See in this committee what are the matters which are dealt. Okay. The facilities which should be provided to the workers whether they are provided or not provided. Okay. This first thing is considered. Then the second thing which is considered is okay whether the fair wages as well as fair remuneration is provided to the employee or not okay whether it is provided or not okay then safety and accidental measures okay safety and accidental prevention measures uh, some recreational facilities activities are they provided or not okay because See, the employees, they are serious, seriously in need of all these activities and facilities, okay, whether the companies, they are providing this or not, because many of the time, due to these reasons also, the employees may go conflicting, is it? So, for that, works committee is appointed, okay, which consists of employer as well as employee. Okay, means some of the representatives of the employees they are appointed as well as some representatives of employers are also mentioned. Okay, manje samda dahazananchi committee asilti, the paths employers che representatives and paths employees che representatives such amade astat. Okay, then worker committee, works committee will not deal with the following items. Okay. हाँ गोष्टी तो अच्छा मुझे इंक्लूड के लिए ज़्यादा ना हित बगा वेजेस एंड अलाउंस बोनस एंड प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग स्कीम्स रैशनलाइजेशंस एंड मैटर्स कनेक्टेड विथ फिक्सेशन ऑफ़ वर्कलोड मैटर्स कनेक्टेड विथ द फिक्सेशन ऑफ़ स्टैंडर्ड लेबर फोर्स प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ़ प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट विक्टिमाइजेशन फॉर ट्रेड यूनियन एक्टिविटीज 
provident fund gratuity schemes and the retiring benefit okay quantum of leave and national and festival holidays incentive schemes housing facilities these are these things are not included okay these things are not included okay then what is included see uh, some of the facilities conditions of work which are very much needed they are included okay then the second is conciliation officer okay conciliation officers who are these officers okay let's see see conciliation officers okay conciliation officers who are these officers okay conciliation officers are appointed by government under the industrial dispute act 1947 okay conciliation so meaning kay baka pahilanda conciliation means stopping someone okay stopping someone okay konal tari thambvaycha konal thambvaycha okay someone who is very angry okay jo koni ragat ahe tela thambavne manje conciliation okay so conciliation officers okay they are appointed by whom by the government under the industrial dispute act 1947 the duties of conciliation officer are given below okay see this person who is appointed by the government to settle the industrial disputes what he is supposed to do okay he has to do everything for bringing a fair and amicable settlement of dispute okay then is sarva goshti karayche sarva goshti karayche jacha through okay jacha through ka honar ahe yes through that there should be settlement of dispute okay in case of public utility service he must hold conciliation proceedings in the prescribed manner okay the manner the chronology which he is offered with okay the chronology with which he is offered with that thing that prescribed manner is supposed to be given to him he shall send a report to the government if the dispute is settled in the course of conciliation proceeding along with the memorandum of the settlement signed by the parties okay means see if there are certain issues into industrial disputes okay if two parties they are conflicting okay what this person is supposed to do this person is supposed to stop both of them okay try to yes try to cool down both the both the persons okay and if such type of dispute or conflict it is resolved okay asha prakar cha conflict resolve jhala अशा प्रकार कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रिजॉल्व तर काय कराएं कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रिजॉल्व जार यस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रिजॉल्व जार दोगे ही सही घाय रिपोर्ट वरती एंड दैट रिपोर्ट इज टू बी सेंड टू होम टू द गवर्नमेंट ओके दैट रिपोर्ट इज टू बी सेंड टू द ओके देन यस where no settlement is reached conciliation officer sends a report to the government setting forth the steps taken by him for ascertaining the facts circumstances relating to dispute and the reasons on account of which settlement could not be reached okay see if this person this conciliation officer okay if this conciliation officer if he is not able to resolve the conflict manje asha prakar cha je conflict ta industry madhe hota employer and employee madhe hota okay te conflict jar to settle karu shaklas nahi okay then also he is supposed to yes forward a report okay in which okay steps taken by him ओके कोणकोणते स्टेप्स त्यांनी घेतलेत कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रिझॉल्व करण्यासाठी ही इज सपोज टू मेन्शन दॅट ओके ही इज सपोज टू मेन्शन दॅट इन टू इट ओके देन देन ओके इट इज टू बी सेंड टू द गव्हर्नमेंट ओके द रिपोर्ट शॅल बी सबमिटेड विद इन फोर्टीन डेज ऑफ द कमेन्समेंट ऑफ कॉन्सिलेशन प्रोसिडिंग्स ओके इन इंडिया गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ बॉम्बे फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस कॉन्सिलेशन अँड लेबर ऑफिसर इन नाईन्टीन थर्टी फोर वेन द बॉम्बे ड्रेड डिस्प्यूट कॉन्सिलेशन ॲक्ट वॉज पास्ट ओके दॅन थर्ड वन इज बोर्ड ऑफ कॉन्सिलेशन ओके बोर्ड ऑफ कॉन्सिलेशन अ बोर्ड विच इज इन्स विच इज एस्टॅब्लिश टू स्टॉप 
to stop such type of dispute okay the government can also appoint a board of conciliation for promoting settlement of industrial disputes okay the chairman of the board is an independent person and other members may be two or four okay are to be equally represented by the parties to the dispute okay means for example if four people are appointed then two should be the representative of the employer two should be the representative of the employee okay then see the duties which this board is supposed to conduct first one is to investigate the dispute and all matters affecting the merits and do all things as it thinks fit for the purpose of inducing the parties to come to a fair and amicable settlements okay they are supposed to investigate okay investigation karaiza hai okay upon the matter due to which dispute has been started okay a report has to be sent to the government by the board whether the dispute is resolved or not okay see whether the dispute is settled they are supposed the board is supposed to uh, report to the government whether it is not uh, not uh, settled then also they are supposed to yes then also they are supposed to report it to the government okay within 2 months of the date on which the dispute was referred to it okay then the court of inquiry the court of inquiry the government may appoint a court of inquiry for inquiring into any industrial dispute okay see court of inquiry is another uh, body appointed by the government okay to have inquiry of such type of industrial dispute okay a court may consist of one person or more than one person in that case one of the persons will be the chairman okay means this court is of one or more than one people okay the court shall inquire into matters and submit its report to the government within a period of 6 months okay means what the court is supposed to do the court is supposed to uh, collect information related to dispute and submit it to the government okay nemk kay zalela ahe he government la sangaycha within 6 months okay then labor courts okay the government has set up labor courts for dealing with the matters specified in the second schedule of the industrial dispute act 1947 this matters include okay see labor courts yes they are also scheduled in industrial dispute act 1947 okay what they are supposed to do yes what are the matters which are included into labor courts the proprietary or legality of an order passed by an employer under the standing orders the application and interpretation of standing orders discharge or dismissal of workmen including reinstatement or grant or relief to the workmen wrongfully dismissed okay withdrawal of any customary concession or privilege illegality or otherwise of a strike or lockout and all matters other than those specified in the third schedule okay see if there is any order passed by an employer under the standing orders okay then the application and interpretation of standing orders okay means uh, related to standing orders if something is done okay discharge or dismissal of workmen including reinstatement or grant or relief to workmen wrongfully dismissed okay then withdrawal of any customary concession or privilege okay if any concession is withdrawn then illegality or otherwise of a strike or lockout okay if strike or lockout is there all matters other than those specified in the third schedule okay third schedule madhe mention kelela peksha vegla ka asel tar te sagle labor court madhe resolve kele jata okay then industrial tribunal industrial tribunal a tribunal is appointed by the government 
for the adjudication of industrial disputes okay to solve the industrial disputes itself okay tribunal is appointed relating to any matters specified in the third schedule okay this ma matters are okay industrial tribunals discuss the matters given below wages including the period and mode of payment compensatory and other allowances hours of work and rest interval okay leave with wages and holidays bonus profit sharing provident fund and gratuity shift working otherwise than in accordance with standing orders classification by grades rules of discipline rationalization retrenchment of workmen and closure of establishment okay any other matter also might be specified into this the industrial tribunal consists of only one person who is appointed by the government okay baga industrial tribunal madhe ek vyakti asto who is appointed by government he should either be a judge of a high court or district judge for a period of not less than 3 years it makes an award after hearing the parties to the dispute and the award is binding on them okay then the national tribunal the national tribunal what is national tribunal national tribunal is constituted by the central government for adjudication of industrial disputes involving questions of national importance a national tribunal shall consist of one person only to be appointed by the central government a person who is or has been a judge of high court or who has held the office of the chairman or the member of the labor appellate tribunal is eligible for the appointment of this tribunal okay see this uh, uh, national tribunal yes it is constituted by the central government okay and what it deals it deals with the resolving of disputes okay so with this we conclude today's lecture thank you